Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn Python with AWS create S3 bucket. And after that, upload and download a file using Boto3. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, here, so first of all, we need to update the package. So first of all, we need a AWS account. And in this, we have instance with the name Python and the state is running. And I have successfully connected to my terminal, as you can see. And as you can see here, welcome to Ubuntu 24.04 LTS, right? So here we are going to learn Python with AWS, create S3 bucket and upload and download a file using Boto3. Okay. And as you can see here, before starting this Python with AWS S3 bucket, so first of all, here we need a we need a basic knowledge of buckets, AWS S3 bucket. So as you can see, now we are in this AWS S3 bucket dashboard. You can see a create bucket and so on. As of now, there is no any bucket, right? You can see my region is Mumbai AP South hyphen one, you can see. And here, as of now, in this region, I don't have any bucket now. As of now, you can see you don't have any buckets. Okay, so no buckets, so we need to create. Okay, so here, in this session, we have learned Python with AWS S3 bucket. In this, in uh, simply in this session, we are going to learn how to create S3 bucket using Python code and upload and file using Boto3. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, you can see in this bucket uh, dashboard as of now, there is no any bucket in this region. You can see my region is AP South 1, Mumbai, ACFS. Okay, so I don't have any buckets. So let's start. So first of all here, the first step is we need to update package. Okay, so how to update? So here update package on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS using below command. So the command is sudo apt update. Now, as you can see, it's updating. Okay, it's done. Now, let's clear the screen first. Okay. Then after that, the next step is we need to install Python 3 on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. So, Python 3 comes pre-installed on Ubuntu 24.04. Installing Python on Ubuntu is straightforward process. So, use below command to install Python 3 on Ubuntu. So, the command is sudo apt install Python so yeah, as you can see, it's installed. The next is if you want to check the version of your Python, then you can check the version using following command. Python 3 hyphen hyphen version. As you can see, the Python 3.12.3, the version of Python. Okay, let's clear the screen. Then after that, it's done. Now let's move to third step. So the third step is install Boto3 on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS using this DIP. So first of all, to install the Boto3 library for Python. So I'm installing 24 Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. So you can use the package manager PIP, which is the default Python package installer. And Boto3 is commonly used for interacting with Amazon Web Services. That's AWS services. So let's follow the steps to install Boto3 using PIP. So the first step is sudo apt install Python3 PIP. So yes, I want to install. So as you can see, it's installing. Open. Okay, it's done. No. So let's clear the screen first. The next is let's install the Boto using Python 3. So the command is sudo apt install Python 3 and Boto 3. So yeah, it's done. Let's clear the screen. 
now it's done if you want to verify the installation it's done or not then is the command is here to check your installation is done or not so as you can see that it's done you can see the version okay it's done now the next step is here we need to create i am user and configure i am user using aws cli okay that means here we need to use we need to configure the aws cli so first of all here as you can see before using boto3 you need to set up authentication credentials for your aws account using either i am console or aws cli so you can either choose an existing user and create a new one okay so for instruction about how to create a user using i am control role so so here that means here you need your access key id as well as secret access key id okay to inst after that after installing aws cli here to configure aws cli we need aws access key id as well as aws secret access key ID. okay so that's why here we need to configure this so as you can see here how to create aws uh, sorry your access key id as well as secret access key ID. okay so first of all go to your profile then go to the security credentials so after that here if i scroll down as you can see access keys as of now, I have two access key ID. That's why here create access key button is disabled. Okay. Why? Because I have two access key ID. Okay. If I remove one, then it will enable. So after that, you can click on this create access key ID and then enter a name, enter a description and then click on create. Okay. So as you can see, this is my access key ID as well as secret access key ID. Okay. Now, let's go to this so first of all here we need to install aws cli okay because to configure aws cli we have configured this aws user using below command okay so first of all if i run a aws configure as you can see it will ask aws cli you can see command aws not found but can be installed with this that means we don't have aws cli so that's why there is a error so we need to install AWS CLI first. So the command is here. So first of all, I'm going to install AWS CLI zip file using curl command. Okay. And after that, we need to unzip this file. Okay. But here, I don't have unzip package. So it will give us error. You can see command not found because first of all, we need to install unzip package. So I'm going to install unzip package. Yep, it's done. Now, now I'm going to unzip my AWS CLI package. Okay. Now let me clear screen here first. And after that, now I'm going to run this command to install AWS CLI. Okay, it's done. Now, if you want to check, then you can check the AWS version. You can run this command to check the version and so on so you can see the details of about our aws cli okay that means we have successfully installed aws cli now it's done now it's time to configure our aws cli why to connect aws cli using cl sorry to connect aws using cli so we have to configure aws user using fall below commands okay so let's configure using aws com configure command okay so as you can see it will ask aws access key id right so here here is my aws access key id then after that it will ask aws secret access key id
After that, it will ask my region name. So my region name is AP South hyphen one. Then default format to output format. So I'm going to skip this. Okay, it's done. We have successful, successfully configure our AWS. Okay, it's done. Now the next step is here. Okay, now the next step is using Boto three with AWS S three. So here to use Boto three, you must first import it and indicate which service or services you are going to use. So we can create S3 bucket and upload files to S3 bucket and download file from S3 bucket. Okay, you can see what we are going to learn. First of all, we can create S3 bucket. Then after that, we, we are going to upload files to the S3 bucket. And then the third step is we are going to download these files from S3 bucket that we have uploaded. Okay, so how? So let's start. So first of all, I'm going to create this file aws s3.py okay so let's create a file here and in this file i'm going to use this code so first of all i'm going to paste here and then i'm going to explain one by one okay so here first of all you can see first library is import boto 3 Right. So this import Boto3 library import, these lines imports Boto3 library, which provides an interface to AWS services in Python. Then after that, the next is here you can see connecting to AWS S3 through Boto3. Okay. So that means S3, S3 bucket, Boto3 client, S3 here, we can create an S3 client object name S3 using Boto3 client and allowing us to interact with S3 services. Okay. The next is here, specify a valid AWS region code. Okay. My region is AP South hyphen one. You can see the default region name is, is Mumbai, right? So this line specific the AWS region code. And in this case, it's set up AP South fund. So which corresponds to the Asia Pacific Mumbai region, as you know, right? Then next is here, you can see create S3 bucket with region constraint. Okay, that means bucket response this S3 bucket. So this lines create an S3 bucket named here, you can see my bucket name is my devops hint bucket and here i'm going to enter a date why because our, our bucket name must be unique okay after if your bucket name is not unique then you will have error why uh, the like error like this um, the bucket name is already existing like that so that's why here i'm going to enter a date why because my bucket name must be Unique. Okay. Then my bucket name is my DevOps in bucket, right? With a region construct specified by the create bucket configuration and parameters and the location constraint parameter ensure that the bucket is created in a specific AWS region. Okay. So that's why the bucket, uh, that's the create bucket constraint configuration. Why? Because the specific region. I'm going to create my bucket in specific region. Which region? In this region. Okay. Then after that here, then the bucket name, you can see a bucket name, then bucket name, my bucket name is uh, DevOps into bucket, right? And so on, right? Okay. Then after that here, you can see this upload files to S3 bucket. Okay. So here you can see first of all file path. So file path is slash opt. That means in this path, in this slash opt, where the file is located, which file sample file. So we need to create this file to this particular location. Okay. So I'm going to create this sample file into this my slash opt directory. Okay. Then after that here, the next stage to file upload. That's my file name that I'm going to upload this file in my bucket. Which bucket? In this bucket, my DevOps in bucket. Okay, that I'm going to create, right? Then after that here, bucket name, okay. Then file path and S3 uploads file test, that means file path, bucket name and file, I'm going to upload this sample file, right? Okay, then next is download from S3 bucket. 
okay so first of all you can see download file so that means here i'm going to download my file name sample.01 in this in my bucket my file name is sample right but when i'm going to up, download this file from this bucket so my file name will be sample01 or either you can you, if you want then you can change okay then after that here then file upload download file right i'm going to download file with this name okay so that's the that's why here okay now it's done okay so let's save the file so before save file remember this i'm going to uh, we will create the file in this slash opt directory with the name sample okay so let's save the file and exit and after that let's go to the slash opt directory and then let's command now let's create using sudo sudo nano sample file so in this file i'm going to enter welcome to devops send okay so let's save the file and exit okay it's done right so after that here it's done now executing the python code we have we need to run this command to execute our code so first of all before executing our code let's go to the bucket and let's refresh the page as you can see there is no any bucket with the name devops hint okay and the date okay so let's execute our code using following command as you can see S3 bucket my devops in bucket created successfully in region AP South 1 and sample downloaded from S3 bucket my devops in as a sample 0 1. Okay, so let's check. So first of all, go to the S3 bucket and refresh the page. As you can see, my devops hint and buck my devops in bucket and the region is ap south one and you can see i am exercising the, the creation and date okay let's inside this bucket so okay. wait for a few seconds as you can see our file name is sample last modify you can check the timing size and storage class okay and our file name is sample and when we download this file the file name will be sample zero one okay now let's check using ls command as you can see if i run the ls command here you can see the sample 01 that we have successfully downloaded you can see file sample downloaded from s3 bucket and the bucket name as sample 01 you can see that means in this file first of all we have successfully created our bucket with the name my devops in bucket and after that in the in this bucket we have successfully upload our file with the name sample and then third one is after uh, successfully uploading file we have successfully download this file from s3 bucket as a name sample 01 right so it's done so it's done so in this session we have learned python with aws create s3 bucket upload and download file from boto3 using boto3 so thank you for watching and i hope you understand